Hi everyone and welcome to codingzest.com. Guys, in this Flutter WebView tutorial, I will show you how you can implement a back click in your WebView and your Flutter WebView application. Okay, so uh, as we can, uh, as we as we saw in the previous video, uh, when we click on this uh, article or in this post, and it opens the detail post here. And if we if we want to go back to the main page, and if we click on the back, so it closes our application. So in this video, I will show you how you can implement a back on uh, in your Flutter uh, WebView application. So first of all, we need a controller for our WebView. So to initialize or add a controller for WebView, we will uh, initialize it as a let because we will initialize it later. So simply type WebView controller, and as you can see here. Here, we will name it as uh, WebView controller and we will initialize this WebView controller when our WebView is created. So how we will know that our WebView is created? So it's uh, very easy. Go to go inside your WebView widget and simply type on WebView created. So we will uh, add a parameter of uh, WebView controller here. Uh, WebView controller and we will name it uh, simply name it controller okay and we will add a method or curly braces here and inside this method or inside this function we will initialize this web view controller with this controller okay so simply type web view controller is equal to controller okay and add a semicolon now we have initialized our web view controller now we we need to use this web view controller so first of all we need to wrap this web view widget with uh, another widget so wrap this web view widget simply click on this and click on this yellow bulb and wrap with widget and we will wrap with will pop scope okay and inside this we will implement our will pop scope and we will add a parameter here okay and we will make it async okay as simply type async and inside this curly braces we will check we will uh, add a check if await web view controller so this is our web view controller can go back so can go back means that if we if we click on any link inside our web view and the web view uh, the web view is not on the main page so it can go back okay and uh, we will add a f block here so simply type web view controller dot go back so we will uh, we will navigate back our web view and we will simply return false from here okay and in our else block else block we will return true value okay return true from here and now if i run this application and we will check if we can go back or not so it is already reloaded i think okay so it is performing hot reload automatically if uh, i save the project it automatically uh, reload the code Okay, so if I open this again and uh, it is reloading I think I'll go to the run and now our application is reloaded and if I check this so if I click on this post and it will open this post as you can see here this is not our main page this is a single post okay and now if I click on back so as you can see here it come back to the main page so that's how we can control our web view and in the upcoming video uh, i will show you how you can add a progress bar here uh, when the web view is loading if i if i close this application and if i open it again from here so you will notice the blank screen here this is the blank screen because our web view is loading so we will show a progress bar here uh, here a horizontal progress bar okay <clears throat> so that's it for this video guys and if you like this video please share this video with your friends and if you are new to my channel so make sure you are subscribed to my channel and also check the bell notification option is on so you won't miss the upcoming videos